You know, I have learned so much from my helicopter crash than from my stroke. Because first of all, you learn that things can always be worse. <laughs> I'm here. I don't speak as well as, as I used to. But my wife said that there's too much talking anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I have, look, I, I'm just finishing a book. I call the book My Stroke of Luck. And it is. I try to maybe help other people with handicaps. For example, depression. I know depression, there's lots of scientific causes of it, but I think one of the big causes of depression is narcissism. Mm -hmm. You are thinking too much about yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to start thinking about other people and other things, and you get, and that's the way I got out of my, my, my depression. So when it first happened to you, you were depressed. You thought, why me, uh, God, why me, and uh, what am I going to do well, now? Well, what is an actor who can't talk? You know, and at the beginning, I couldn't talk at all. Then, then I started study with a speech therapist, and Michael, we were, Michael and I were always going to do a movie together. So Michael said, well, Dad, you keep working with your speech therapist, and then we'll do the movie. I got mad and said, Michael, why don't you work with my speech therapist? <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, and then, Michael, when you talk the way I talk, we'll do the movie. <laughs> It's, it's the basic fact is that you had to learn how to speak again. Yes, yes. You know, when you think of it, we talk, all you people, you, you talk. You think of something and you say it, and you never think what is required to... I had to learn to make every sound. Yes. And, you know, but the frustrating thing is my thoughts are here, but my speech is crawling around, so it gets frustrating.